Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I thought we'd do a little tutorial, craft with me, on how to make these little sweater clips. And this is a good project if you are new to beading, if um, you've been beading for a while and you have some beads and nice charms and things that you kind of want to use but you're not sure what to use them in besides planter dangles and tassels. So um, I came up with this because I love to wear cardigans. I love to wear sweaters. A lot of sweaters that you get now do not have any closures on them and um, I really like them to have at least one button just so it kind of keeps everything pulled together. So I, I was looking on Amazon and they do sell uh, like cardigan clips they're called, but they're usually really big and I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit smaller and I thought, you know, for the price that they're selling them, I can make them myself because I have most of the beading things. So it was, you know, something that I kind of thought would be a fun project. And yeah, I think they came out really cute. I've shown a couple that I've made on my channel and a tutorial was requested. So I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I made and then we'll make one together. So this is the first one that I made and I used cardigan clips that I got at Joann's. Let me show you the package. They're by Hildy and Joe and it comes with eight sweater clips and they're 11 by 20 millimeters. That's the UPC code in case you want to look it up. They have them uh, in my store anyway, and I'm pretty sure you can order them online as well. They only have the silver one. It would be nice if they had gold too, but they only have silver. So what's good about these is they have the little hole there so you can add a jump ring. So if you could see what I did there, I put a jump ring through that. And then with the wire, I strung all these different beads on it, added another jump ring and clipped it onto the edge. So then this one, the clips, you know, clip onto both sides of your sweater and I keep it closed and it makes it like a nice piece of jewelry. So yeah, it, it really works too. I've tried it out and I like how it looks. So that was the first one that I made. The second one I made, I made with a little bit bigger beads and this is a little bit longer space in between the clips. Now for this one I used a two inch eye pin and just strung everything on there. This one I used wire so I can make it a little bit longer. Um, the only difference is you have to make an extra loop on the end of it. Uh, but this one I used the same sweater clips and I was able to use more beads because it fit more than, you know, more than on a two inch eye pin. So I used a like center showcase bead and then, you know, like a symmetrical uh, amount of beads on either end. So this one works too and I really like how it looks. Um, it's just really pretty and I use night neutral colors so it would go with whatever you know outfit I was wearing or if I'm gifting them to somebody what outfit they're wearing. And then I made one more because I wanted to try out a different kind of clip. I bought these at Hobby Lobby this past week and they are 1.3 inch 35 millimeter alligator clips. And these were on sale uh, half off. So instead of $3.99, it was $2. And this comes with 20. And these work fine as well. I have one, no, let me just get one out to show you. It's similar to the uh, sweater clips from Hildy and Joe, except they're longer. And you need to use a bigger jump ring because there's the space in between the, the circle and the end. So your jump ring has to be able to clear that space. But otherwise it, it holds really nicely. Let me show you the difference. Let me take one out. This, the sweater clip is shorter obviously than the alligator clip, but they both work well. And I think the alligator clips are a little bit more uh, easy to find. So, and I've looked online for uh, sweater clips and, you know, Joann's is really the only place I could find them. So alligator clips you can get anywhere and they work well. So I made this one with the alligator clips and I think this one came out really pretty too. And so, like I said, I had to use some bigger jump rings at the end so it would clear that little notch and the, the distance from the hole to the end as well. And for this one, I used two eye pins because the center bead that I used has two spaces for, for, um, eye pin, for jump rings. 
Let me show you that one. This one I hauled recently from Michaels, and it comes like this, bead landing glass beads. And as you can see, each one has uh, a jump ring or a space for a jump ring on either side of it. So that makes it easy. You could just you know, use an eye pin for each side, or you can use wire. So I really like how this one came out, and it is longer. So this one kind of drapes a little bit when I put it on my, on my sweater. So I like that idea as well. The only thing, it kind of, you know, it turns a little bit, this part. So maybe a round bead would be better or something that, um, you know, kind of swings more. But actually, it, you know, once it's holding taut, it doesn't really move too much. So those are the three that I made, and I thought we can make one together, and I'll just show you my process for how to make them. I will use the Hilde and Joe sweater clips because they are my favorite and I think they're a little bit more versatile because you can use a smaller jump ring on the end. Okay, and then we're gonna use some eye pins or actually for this one, we're just gonna use one eye pin. This is like, you know, just like your basic uh, instructions. And then once you get the hang of it, you can make, you can go from there and make any kind you want. So these are two inch eye pins. An eye pin has the loop on the edge like that. And then the other end is, is open. And these I've gotten at Hobby Lobby too, two inch eye pin. I've had these for a long time. So yeah, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna use the two sweater clips. Let me just move these over so we're a little more focused. And then I was thinking maybe making this one a Halloween sweater clip. So I went to look at my charms because I haven't made one with a charm. So I thought it'd be fun to add a, add a charm and see how that works out. So I got out this ghost, one because it's Halloween and also because it has silver metal on it. A lot of charms that I have have gold metal. metal so uh, I was glad to find one that has silver metal there. So we'll put that in the middle. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, it looks like a face right there, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, and then we'll add some beads on either side of the ghost as well. And I got out some little uh, little um, jump rings. These might be a little bit too small. Uh, we'll try it and see. And then I do have these jump rings too. I just bought these at Walmart this morning, and I thought these were cool because they're decorative twist rings. So if you could see, like the the jump rings are kind of like twisted. So I thought that was kind of neat. Maybe we'll use those actually. And then I have this pack of, um, what do you call these, um, seed beads that I gotten from AliExpress. They were a free gift and they're kind of like, I don't know, like iridescent black seed beads. And I thought they'd be good to use for a Halloween pin. And then I also have these tiny little silver beads and these came in this pack that I got on clearance at, at Walmart a couple of years ago. And it was actually $1, not $3, so that was nice. So we're gonna use a couple seed beads, a couple of um, silver beads, a few jump rings, and we'll see how it goes. Now for tools, uh, I like to use, this is called a one-step looper, and it's a one and a half millimeter one. I'll link it um, Amazon if you want down below. I think that's where I got it. But this makes a loop on the other ends of the eye pin. If you don't want to use something like this, you can use regular jewelry pliers and just uh, like do some uh, wire wrapping. And if you're not sure how to do that, you could go ahead and look up a tutorial on how to do wire wrapping. It's not that hard, but um, you know, it's not something I love to do. So I'm just gonna use the one step looper. And these I have, these are just jewelry pliers. These will help me to hold things and to twist if I need to. So got some jewelry pliers. And yeah, I think we're ready to go. So let's get started. Um, the first step, you're gonna go ahead and take your cardigan clips, and then we have to add jump rings to either end. So I'm going to gonna open these ones that I just got today. And there's a smallish, medium, and large size. I think we'll use the smallish. Well, let me look at one that I did already. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's about a small size. So let's do that. Let's open the small ones. And if you wanna know how big the small ones are, I'm not sure it doesn't say, but I'll try and measure them. Cause it's hard to tell sometimes on camera how big something is. Okay, if we go by millimeters, it's looks like a six millimeter jump ring. 
All right, so jewelry tools will help you to open up your jump rings. These I've never used before. I wonder if they'll be harder to open because they're a twist, but that's okay because I like when they're a little bit harder to open, that means they won't fall apart as easily. So I'm just looking for the end. It's harder to tell on the, whoops, on the twisty ones. All right, so you take your jump ring in between your two ends of your jewelry pliers and then twist one way with one and the other way with the other. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna put that into our sweater clips, just like that. Okay, and for this end, we'll put the, before we close it up, we'll put our eye pin through and then close it up. So then just take your pliers and twist back the other way. And if you need to, if there's like a little tiny space there, just take one pair and press it together a little bit more. Hang on. I just do beading every so often. It's not, you know, like my main hobby, but I do like to do it sometimes. I go through phases with beading. All right, so there we are. We've got our first part of our sweater clip all ready. So now we're gonna start adding some beads to this. So I am gonna add, now, okay. First thing, when you are thinking about adding your beads, make sure you leave a little extra space at the end because you're gonna have to make a loop at the end of your eye pin. So just make sure there's a little space there and anything else, anything extra we can cut off, okay? And also it's good to add the smaller beads at the end, like a seed bead, just so they don't go over the loop. So I'm going to add, let's see. Yeah, let's add one of these like black or you know iridescent seed beads. Sorry, come on, let's focus here. Okay, so add that at the end. Sometimes I do it and it doesn't look right, so I have to take everything off, but it's no big deal. And I haven't like really tried this before, so. Okay. And it's helpful if you leave them like in a bowl to scoop them up with or just on your work surface. Okay, so we have the silver bead and then let's add another one of those iridescent ones. Hopefully you can see okay. Okay, like that. And then, all right, let's add the ghost. Now the ghost will need to add a jump ring so he can swing from the from the pin. So we're gonna add, let's add one of the it would probably look nice if we add the um, the twisted one too. You know, it would look consistent. So I'm going to open that up again, or a different one. I think that's the part where it meets. Okay, and then twist. Yep, twist apart like that. Come here, little ghosty. I'm going to put him in there, and I think it should swing okay if I just put it on like this think so. Now we could do this after we add all the beads and just, you know, close the jump ring in the spot where we want it, but I'm just going to add it now. Okay, so there's our ghosty with his jump ring. So I'm going to add him too. Now hopefully this doesn't go over the seed beads. No, it won't. Okay. So that's going to be like that. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Oh, it's looking cute. If I had some orange seed beads, I would add those, but alas, I do not. All right, I'm actually, I took the ghost off because I'm gonna add another silver seed bead and then another iridescent one, just cause I don't think it's long enough. Or maybe, you know what? Yeah, let's see how that goes. I might take off this one seed bead, this one iridescent one. Yeah, that's gonna be too long. All right, we'll take him off, add the ghost. And then, you know what, I think I'll just keep going with the iridescent. And I'll just keep doing that until it's nice and even. I think that looks good. It's not, I mean, this ghost has to go on one side of that middle silver bead, but that's okay. 
All right, I think that looks cute. So now we're ready to make the loop at the end. And this is uh, the trickiest part, I guess. It's not that bad, but it's still a little bit tricky. So you're gonna take your one step looper. Sometimes I mess this up and have to do it again, but hopefully it works here. So what you do, and cause I'm lefty, so I have to hold that in my right hand, which is not normal for me. But anyway, you take the end of your eye pen. See, I have a lot of nice space left over and that, uh, that makes it easier, the more space you have. Okay, and you fit it through your one-step looper, make it come out the little hole on the other side. And the trick is to squeeze it as close to the last bead as you can so it doesn't slide around. And to do that, you kind of have to hold it in place while you're pushing up the eye pin and make sure the bead is not stuck in the crimper there. Okay, so I have to do that again. I guess, guess. All right, so I'm holding it in there. See, I wanna make sure that all the beads are pushed up so there's no slack, you know, down at the other end of the, of the um, eye pen. So hold the handles. And then once everything is tight, see like that? No space in between. I'm gonna squeeze them together. And what that does is it cuts off the excess of the eye pin and then makes a loop at the end. See there, just like that. And that looks like that. Okay, so now we have to add another jump ring to this end. We're almost done. Okay, there we go. That's where they meet. Just twist them around. And then we'll take our other clip. Put the jump ring through the hole. And then you just want to make sure it's, you know, the same, you put it on the same way as you did the other one. So let me zoom in here so you can see. All right, so this one, I want to put it, I'm just going to turn this around. Okay, it's going to go this way because I have it going from the top down to the top. So I put it through my little loop that I made there. Take your pliers, twist them back together. And then, oh, that didn't go well at all, did it? Do that again. Okay, that's better. And then you can squeeze the ends together a little bit too if you need to. There we go. All right, so there is our ghosty sweater clip. Oh, that is so cute, isn't it? And I like that it has a charm on it. I've never done a charm before and this way, it, uh, you know, it has a nice little dangle to it. Oh, that's fun. And then you could always change the charm for different seasons and, oops, sorry about my tripod. If you hear anything, that's Gus. He came in to scratch on my carpet. So that was nice of him. <laughs> Gus, you wanna say hi to everybody? No. All right, maybe next time. So anyway, yeah, those are the sweater clips that I made and just a little example of how to make one yourself. I really like that one. I think it's adorable. I might um, make one with bigger beads next time, but this way it really showcases a little charm. So I think that's pretty fun. All right, guys, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to link those sweater clips down below it just to make it easier for you to find in the store or to do an online order if you want to. And then, you know, play with it. You can decide how much space you want in between the clips. It depends on the sweater. It depends on how much you want it to drape. It depends on where you want to put it on your sweater. If you put it right at the neck, you know, maybe a, a smaller, space in between the clips would be good or if you put it down further or something like this would be nice or you know this will add a little bit of a drape if you put it at, on the top 
So, yep, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, like I said, please leave them down below. And I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Bye, guys.